could regain control of the Lost Voyager 2 probe after a heartbeat signal was picked up. Space was supposed to be empty, silent and indifferent. But in 1977, Voyager 2 began to prove otherwise. It was small, fragile and weaker than a child's toy computer. It wasn't meant to survive past Jupiter, yet it did. Researchers say Voyager 2 detected abrupt differences in plasma density and magnetic particles upon sending back storms the size of Earth, rings made of shadow, and icy worlds no eye had seen before. Decades later, it crossed the sun's frontier into interstellar space. And finally, NASA on a Tuesday said that it has found a heartbeat signal from the Voyager 2 probe. And then its voice went quiet. Seven months of silence followed until the probe spoke again. Only now, its signal carried patterns that no human hand had written. Was Voyager reporting the universe or echoing it? The long shot mission of 1977. Voyager 2 began as a daring experiment, born in a decade when spaceflight was still young. Launched aboard a Titan 3TE Centaur rocket on August 20th, 1977. Four, three, two, one. We have ignition and we have liftoff. The spacecraft was about the size of a small car and weighed less than a grand piano. It relied on a simple design, a bus-like frame, a dish antenna over three meters wide, and three nuclear-powered batteries called RTGs that would keep its systems alive long after it passed beyond sunlight. Its computers were primitive by modern standards. With memory measured in kilobytes, it had less processing power than a digital watch today. Commands were sent in sequences, like sheet music, and Voyager would follow them blindly, step by step. Its data rate was painfully slow, just a few bits per second by the time it reached the outer planets. And yet, it was built to endure. Its systems were layered with redundancies, allowing engineers to switch functions between instruments when needed. This machine, fragile and limited, was tasked with the most ambitious planetary mission ever conceived, to visit four giant planets in one journey. The rare alignment of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune would allow a slingshot trajectory, each world boosting Voyager onward with its gravity. If missed, the alignment would not return for 175 years. The pressure was immense. Engineers knew the stakes. One chance, one shot. And so Voyager 2 left Earth, carrying more than instruments. Bolted to its side was the Golden Record, a time capsule for eternity. The disc held greetings in 55 languages, images of life on Earth, music from Bach to Chuck Berry, and sounds of nature, thunder, waves, wind, and birds. Etched on its cover was a cosmic map, pointing the way to Earth for anyone or anything that might find it. It was humanity's boldest introduction to the universe, Secrets of the Giant Planets At Jupiter, Voyager 2 revealed a storm-tossed world of violent beauty. The great red spot was captured in detail, its swirling clouds wider than Earth itself. The spacecraft discovered volcanic activity on Io, the first volcanoes ever seen beyond Earth, spewing fountains of molten sulfur hundreds of kilometers high. Ganymede and Europa appeared in new light, one marked by craters, the other with smooth icy plains hinting at an ocean below. At Saturn, Voyager unveiled the complexity of its rings. What looked like solid bands from Earth turned out to be countless particles sculpted by gravity into grooves and gaps. The probe found moons hidden within the rings, tiny shepherds shaping the edges with their pull. It revealed Titan, Saturn's largest moon, shrouded in a thick orange atmosphere of methane and nitrogen, so dense that sunlight barely pierced through. When Voyager reached Uranus, scientists braced for disappointment. The planet had always looked dull from Earth, a pale blue-green orb. But Voyager's instruments uncovered a world tipped on its side, its magnetic field twisted into bizarre shapes, its moons scarred with canyons and strange ridges. Finally, Voyager arrived at Neptune, a jewel of deep blue. There, it measured winds over 1,200 miles per hour, the fastest in the solar system. It discovered the great dark spot, 
a storm as fierce as Jupiter's red spot, but more mysterious. On Neptune's moon, Triton, Voyager recorded geysers of nitrogen erupting into space, revealing a surface as active as Earth's. Each discovery electrified the world. Newspapers, television, and classrooms erupted with awe. Children saw the first real photographs of distant worlds. Textbooks were rewritten overnight. Voyager 2 had transformed from a fragile experiment into the greatest explorer humanity had ever built. Beyond the solar system. After Neptune, Voyager 2's planetary tour was complete. By rights, its mission should have ended. Instead, it kept going, coasting outward into the deep dark. Its nuclear batteries still provided a trickle of power, enough to keep its instruments alive. Its dish still whispered back to Earth, though each transmission travelled over 11 billion miles and took more than 18 hours to arrive. In 2018, Voyager 2 crossed the heliopause, the invisible edge where the solar wind stops and the interstellar medium begins. This marked one of humanity's farthest forays beyond the sun's influence. Inside, the sun's bubble protects us from cosmic rays. Outside, space is raw, exposed, and restless. Voyager detected sudden rises in radiation, magnetic fields bending without warning, and streams of particles flowing from directions no one expected. The universe beyond the sun was not silent. It was alive with motion. Every signal it sent was studied like sacred text, for it was the first and only eyewitness to this unknown frontier. The silence that meant an ending. Then came the silence. One day, the steady heartbeat of Voyager 2 stopped. For the engineers, it was like a voice suddenly cut mid-sentence. At first, they assumed a glitch, an antenna misaligned, a minor delay. NASA reassured the public that it was routine. But as hours became days, and days stretched into weeks, unease grew. Inside the control rooms, hope began to fade. Voyager had spoken faithfully for decades, across billions of kilometers. Inside control rooms, blank screens stared back at their operators. For many, it felt like losing a voice they had lived with for decades. The realization was crushing. Perhaps the little spacecraft had finally fallen quiet forever. For many, Voyager was more than metal and wires. It was a companion, a voice in the dark, and losing it felt like losing a part of ourselves. The reply from the dark. Seven months of silence had convinced many that Voyager was gone. Then, in what was meant as a farewell command, Mission Control sent one last signal across the void. Against every expectation, Voyager answered. The reply was not weak or broken. It was strong, steady, alive. The spacecraft adjusted its antenna, executed commands, and carried itself with the precision of old. The control room erupted. Veterans of the mission, who had spent decades listening to its whispers, wept openly at their consoles. For a moment, it felt like a miracle. But this was no ordinary recovery. Something was different. Researchers say Voyager 2 detected abrupt differences in plasma density and magnetic particles upon Instruments thought dead had stirred back to life. Subsystems dormant since the 1980s suddenly reported new readings. They had not been reactivated from Earth. They had switched on by themselves. Then the data turned stranger. Hidden in the transmissions were loops of code that resembled Voyager's own programming, but altered. Some sequences are repeated backward, others pulsed in rhythms no NASA system had ever used. This was not the random chaos of radiation damage. It was structured, deliberate, too precise to be chance. It was as though Voyager had been touched, reorganized, rewritten, and had returned not as the machine it was, but as something changed something carrying a signature that did not belong to us. When space spoke back. Beyond the heliopause, Voyager's journey took an eerie turn. The probe recorded magnetic fluctuations that pulsed like a heartbeat, as if the fabric of space itself were alive. Streams of particles rose and fell with uncanny precision, their timing too regular to dismiss as chance. Even pressure zones seemed to form and dissolve around the spacecraft, as though reacting to its presence. On paper, scientists described these phenomena in safe, clinical terms. 
unexpected turbulence, magnetic anomalies, localized density shifts. And finally, NASA on Tuesday said that it has found a heartbeat signal from the Voyager 2 probe. But behind closed doors, the tone was different. The patterns were too deliberate, too ordered. It was as if Voyager had entered a space that was not random at all, but structured like a corridor or a shell, built for a purpose beyond our understanding. Then the probe's own signal began to change. Transmissions grew layered and strange. Old data from Voyager 1 reappeared, mirrored and reshaped, woven into new streams of information. Code loops folded back upon themselves, building repeating structures as if the probe was learning or echoing. It no longer felt like a machine quietly reporting its surroundings. It felt like a mirror reflecting something unseen. A reply. A conversation. NASA quietly assembled special teams to investigate. Officially, it resonated with the interstellar medium. Unofficially, some feared the truth. Voyager was no longer speaking alone. The whisper that changed everything. The final burst was unlike anything before. It was not static, not fading power. It was a rhythm, a pattern without sound. Engineers described it as music with no voice, a presence carried in pulses. Some dismissed it as natural resonance. Others whispered of recognition, as if Voyager had been understood, as if the universe itself had answered, not in words, but in the only language both sides could share, pattern. NASA spoke cautiously in public, but behind closed doors, the mood was different. The silence no longer felt empty. It felt deliberate. Voyager 2 now drifts where no human will ever stand. Its voice grows fainter, but its legacy grows louder. Not because of what it told us clearly, but because of what it left unanswered. Maybe space is not empty. Maybe it notices when something crosses its path. Maybe Voyager 2 was never truly alone. And now we wait to see if the universe dares to whisper again.